Hi, this is Mo of Mo's Gallery and Fine Framing, and in this tutorial, we're going to talk to you about how to hang mirrors in large art. Here, from the bottom of the frame up to the middle of the hanger here is 26 and a quarter inches. Okay, and we have all our tools here. We have our little pad of paper. We want to write, write down 26 and a quarter. Okay, here again, we're going to take it two inches off the bottom of the splash. Okay, to get it on the wall. So we want to come up. What's two plus 26 and a quarter? Rick, quick, quick. 28 and a quarter. 28 and a quarter, there we go. From the peanut gallery in the back. Okay, so we take that and we make our mark right there. Now, here's the tricky part. Now that you've got your center line and how high that goes, the next step, now I know I'm cheating. I have a laser level here and you can do the same thing with a regular level, just kind of lay the whole thing up there and make your marks. You go from here and you measure from the outside here to the inside here, and that will get you center to center. Okay, here in this particular case, we have 23 inches. Okay, now in order to get that measurement on the wall, you take that 23 inches, this is simple, simple math, 23 divided by two? 11 and a half. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, 11 and a half. Okay. Now, in order to get a straight measurement on the wall, I really don't like to use this little thing here on the, on the tip here. So I will lay a, my laser level right on the one there and we'll go to 12 and a half. So watch this here. Go right to there, go to 12 and a half, make a mark. We'll go to 12 and a half here and make a mark at the one. Okay, and that's just more accurate. To make sure that you're accurate, always measure twice or three times if you have to and do your mollies just once. So here's our, our next measurement here. We go from here to here, and we have 23, okay, exactly where I want to be. Okay, the next step is getting all the hangers in the wall. We want to get this hanger in the wall, and we're going to use our snap screws to do so. Okay, so what we do is we take that little hanger, and we make sure that our line is right there, and, we, and I use my finger to hold that on there. I also use my finger to guide uh, my awl, and I go right to the center. Just in case I need to go up or down, I make a mark, I go over here, go over there. excuse me, I'm going to the other side here, so I can see my line, right there. Make a mark, okay. We're ready to go ahead and, and uh, finish this up. Okay, for this particular project, I'm gonna use a snap screw, which I already told you about. Okay. Okay, and there you go. They're in there like that. Okay, take your screw, put it in the J-hook. Okay. Did you hear that little snap in the back there? That was uh, the, J the, uh, the uh, snap hanger doing its thing. Do the same thing on the other side. Right there. Now I noticed that this hanger over here is a little higher than, than that one. So I'll loosen it up just a little bit. Something you can't do generally with lead mollies. Okay, now we're ready to hang. The easiest thing to do here is you wanna make sure those are flipped up a little bit, just like that. Hold it, right, and you wanna hold it with your fingers here and here, so when you get it on the wall, you can actually feel the hanger back there. So now watch how easy this is. 
I can feel it right here. I hook it here, lift it up, hook it on. Voila, you're a pro. Thank you for watching this hanging tutorial brought to you by Moe's Gallery and Fine Framing. For more information on the hardware used in this tutorial, please check out our other videos on wall hangers and picture hooks.